two things for me have been the biggest shift change, right? Of, of trying to listen to the better voice as opposed to all of the noise. Yep. And number one is the thought of if I don't do this, if I don't prove to my family, myself, that I could freaking do this, even though I'm 5'2", even though, you know, I came from a place where I, I knew no one in the business, I worked my butt off, grew up, you know, my father worked his butt off in a factory his whole life to pay for my dance lessons, voice lessons. I, how would it feel if I don't do that? Oh, that means right. I have to do it. And number yeah. two, and I talk about this a lot, is taking imperfect action right? Like having the ability to just kind of leap and the net will appear. Yep. And I know for a lot of people that that's hard to do, right? It's like, oh, I, I, I can't do it unless I'm totally ready. And, and for me, I think it was just always that, that push from behind because of the thought that if I don't do it, I won't be able to, to live with myself. I'll have the regret because, you know, I was given this talent and this skill for a reason, right? So I have to use it. So, but Dean, till this day, like I could be walking on stage. I could be speaking to a room full of people about communication and the heart's like this, right? And the voice is going like, oh my God, are you going to do this? Are you going to mess up? I don't know. But it's about being like, shut up. I got this. And thinking about, again, this is to serve. This is for for them, right? It's not about me. And that's, that's really, really helped me because like you said, no matter how far I've gotten in my career or how far I'll continue to go, that will still be there. But it's just about saying, okay, I'm going to just, that noise is going to be there. I'm not going to fight it, which I used to do when I was younger. I wanted to fight it, but it's like, let it be there and just push forward.